Sorry, Wilson. Look, it's no use. I can't do it. I was silly to think that I could. Let's just go back. Yes, you can. It was my fault for getting too close. I won't do it again. I promise. Come on. Uh, OK. That's it. Perfecto. Whoa, what's happening? Quick, turn the magnet off again. <laughs> Look out. Hard stop. <sighs> oh, bumpers. Now there are three pieces out. What? Oh, no. Line will have to be closed even longer now. Yeah, don't we open the line yet, V? We're uh, not quite ready. Where are you going? To get help. But you can fix this. No, I can't. I can't control the magnet. It's hopeless. Look, you just have to turn the magnet off when you don't need it. I'll shout to you. Come on, I just know you can do it. Do you really think so? Of course. Over teensy bit. Now for the next piece. I wonder what we're going to find. I hope it's not a lot of work. How are we doing, Zephy? Nearly there. It's Eddie! Wow! <laughs> you fixed it yourself. Sorry, Eddie. V said it was urgent and you didn't turn up in time. And... You've done a top job, mate. Oh, look at that. I'm really proud of you. Thanks. It was teamwork. Right. Let's tell Vee the good news. Oh, me! I'll do it! But Frostini only needs one assistant, I'm afraid. Me! I'll help! I'll help! Me! That's OK. It's way too hot for me. So, it's between you two, huh? First, you must show what you can do. And then, I will pick the best helper. Perfecto! Let's go! Yeah, all right. OK, you'll both do a delivery run. The first Chaga to complete the round becomes my helper. Hey! <sighs> Whoops, sorry, Coco. <laughs> On your tracks. Get set, go! <laughs> Over there. I think she and Wilson stayed up very late. <laughs> you should see Wilson. He can hardly keep his eyes open. Pick up number one. Gotcha. I could do this in my sleep. Ooh, red light. Got to stop. I'll give my eyes a little rest while I wait for the green light. <sighs> oh, special announcement. 
Shift your chassis, Wilson. That light's been green for ages. Oops. Sorry, Emery. Well, if you hadn't stayed up half the night, maybe you wouldn't be dozing. <laughs> Hey, watch out, Wilson. Your door's open, mate. Oh, thanks, Eddie. It's nice and dark in here, just like my snuggly roundhouse. Maybe I can take a break before my next pick. Right, that's the last of them, Hodge. Oh, let me uh, shut your door. I can do it. OK, gently does it. Stop fussing, Eddie. I know what I'm doing. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Look, let's get these over to the recycling yard. <laughs> hey, wait for me. Eddie, I can go myself. I'm not a baby, you know. All right, but promise you'll be careful. Of course I will. See ya. Hey, and drive slowly. <laughs> I don't know why Eddie never lets me do things on my own. Ah! Ah! Wilson, look what he made me do. Whoops, sorry. Why do things always happen to me? I'll go and get Eddie. No, I can take care of it. I don't need Eddie's help. Ooh, you have a real gearbox. Oh, and uh, Pete, if you could pick up the... the, the... I don't I don't <laughs> Lynn Rivets, what was that, V? Oh, dear. Hi, V. Where are you off to? The safari park with a load of bananas. At least I think that's what V was saying. She's disappeared. Oh, looks like you're going to the farm instead. The f f farm? Strange. Still, V knows best. Aha! Here comes me tunnel colour. Black, purple, orange, pink. Huh? What's going on? Grey? But there isn't a grey tunnel. Unless I've gone colourblind. What does that mean, V? Hmm, I think V's broken. Watch this. <laughs> oh, a cow? <laughs> you are clever, Pete. Takes a lot of puff out of me, though. Right then, better get this milk delivered. See you tomorrow, Pete. Poor old Pete. Look how hard he's puffing. He could do with the day off. <gasps> What's next, V? Oh, dear me, Pete. You sound terrible. I think I've got a bit of <laughs> soot in me throat box. <laughs> Why don't you go and see Morgan and get it cleaned out? Good idea, V. <gasps> Look, V has sent Pete to the repair shed. She must be worried about him too. <laughs> oh, that tickles! All done, Pete. Thanks, Morgan. Ah, now there's something I want to ask you. Back in a sec. Here we are. Right, Hodge. That's all I can find in the workshop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pete. Never been better. What are you up to? Collecting scrap metal. <laughs> oh, I better get out of the way then, before you cut me off. <laughs> Not you, Pete. You're in tip-top shape, mate. <laughs> Unlike that tender car, which is on its last wheel. I know, but Terry is my old favourite. I want Morgan to have another go at repairing him. Oh, Pete. Last time I patched this up, I said that was it. Oh, I know, but I can't bear to part with Terry. He's been with me since I was a youngster. Look, leave him with me and I'll see what I can do. No promises, though. Thanks, Morgan. Sorry. Oh, go on. It'd really lift me spirits. Oh, well, maybe just a little ride around there. But after that, it's straight back for a nap. Woohoo! Aha! They'll never 
find me in here. Honking horns! This really wasn't a good idea. Found you! <laughs> <laughs> Look at you! It's not funny. You better go to the repair shed. <laughs> No, honey, uh, just my luck. What a shame. Still, it's probably for the best. We don't want you to get tired out. In fact, I think it's time for your nap. Yes, come along. Couldn't I stay here for I'm a... I'm not taking no for an answer. Oh. <laughs> Great puffs of steam. What's happened to you? <laughs> We were playing hide and seek and Brewster hid in an old shed. And there were loads of ancient bits and pieces in there. And... In the old town? Yes. Rittlin rivets. I'd long forgotten about it, but there used to be a spare part shed. Oh, yes. I remember. And there just might be a firebox there. Could you find it again? Um, well, I'm not sure. I know those rails like I know me own pistons. Would you give us a tow, Rockstar? Yeah, I'm really strong. But what about your nap, Peter? Oh, Wynn, stop fussing. I'm 150 years old, old enough to know when I need a rest. We're going to find a firebox! Yeah.